Good day. Today we're going to be remixing a picture of an empty highway. So it appears that there is a traffic jam. Sounds interesting. Okay. So I've provided three pictures for you. Okay. So I've got empty highway. Um, actually four. I've got empty highway, which we're going to fill up. And then three pictures where there's already a traffic jam. What your job is going to be is to take this picture of the empty highway. So I'm going to download that now. Uh, and it's going to go to your downloads folder. Okay. And then uh, you're going to go ahead and download the, uh, you know, a couple of these other traffic uh, pictures. Okay. Grab them. And these are going to go into your downloads folder. Okay. So now, what we're going to do is, uh, let's go ahead and move them to our folders, okay? So let's go to, um, let's minimize all our stuff, and let's go to Macintosh HD, okay? Uh, let's go to our house, okay? And then we're going to go to downloads. Now from there, we can see we've got these different pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop these in my folder. Okay, so we've got our empty highway, good stuff. So we're going to go ahead from here. Uh, I'm going to open up the empty highway picture. So I'm going to do a control click or a right click. Okay, open with GIMP. All right, so huh, empty highway, eh? Huh, problem. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to be taking some of the uh, cars from your other pictures and putting them in here. Now, I've given you some, some traffic jam pictures that you can use, or, you know, go ahead on Google Image Search, find your own cars that you want to fill the highway with, up with, okay? So let's check this out. Um, let's open up traffic1.jpg, uh, okay? So here we've got a situation where we've got a traffic jam here. So we opened it up in GIMP. I did a control click or a right click. Um, we've got a lot of cars here, and we want to take this picture, add some cars to it. Cool, dude. So let's go ahead with the, uh, the uh, picture that's got all the cars in it. Let's go ahead. Let's use our lasso tool, okay? So that's our lasso tool. And there's a couple different ways we can do this. I think we'll, I'll just do the first one. So we're looking here and we're trying to find a car. We gotta get the whole sort of look, okay? The whole, the whole thing where we can get the, the whole back. And looking around, um, I see one. So I'm gonna zoom in using the plus button on my uh, keyboard. Okay, and I'm gonna select this, okay? I'm gonna select feather edge. Uh, so I double clicked on my lasso tool. I select feather edges, and I set this radius down to, I don't know, pretty low, okay? Now I'm going to go, and I'm going to not do that. There we go. And then what you can do is just go, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to select it. And you can see here we've got an issue with um, sort of this car's um, mirror. That's okay. Actually, just going to go ahead and put it in the picture. Trying to figure out where it begins and ends. There's the shadow. 
We'll just take the whole thing. Okay, so there we go. We've got that car selected now. That's neat. Good stuff. So we're going to go to Edit, Copy. All right. And we can do a couple different things here. The first way and the easiest way is we're going to, so right now I've got our empty highway picture up. I'm going to double click on my paintbrush tool. And then where it says brush, okay, so I double clicked on my paintbrush tool. Where it says brush, huh, that's weird. Looks like that car I copied. Okay, so let's go ahead and in the upper left, we've got this brush now. Now, you notice if I plop this car on, wow, it looks pretty good. If you think good things look crappy, um, so let's go ahead and let's do an edit undo and where it says scale Okay, if I want to make the car bigger, I would take it to the right. You see look it's the biggest car ever right there That's definitely not what we want. Okay, so we're actually going to scale this down So take this down. Let's see what uh, Point four looks like ah not too bad. Let's actually make it real small Even smaller and let's so, sort of put these cars in the distance. And let me just zoom in what I'm doing. I'm just sort of these cars in the distance. And you can have traffic coming one way, or you could have both uh, sort of highways going uh, that way down the thing, OK? So let's just change that up a little bit. Make it a little bigger as we get closer. Just some simple stuff, okay? Actually, I'm gonna change that. It should be a little bit bigger. Okay. And then let's put one sort of bigger one there. Okay, not too, too bad. So now, let's go ahead, let's open up uh, one of those other uh, traffic pictures. There we go, we got some good stuff here. Uh, so, let's go ahead and grab this, like, truck here, okay? Or we could grab this car, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna grab this truck. And good, look, all the feather edges stuff is still there. That's nice. The main thing is, is that you need to get a complete... Oh, this was a mistake. <laughs> uh, if I wanted to do this properly, I'd have to select the car, or the, this truck, but everywhere there is... Um, you know how you can see the road? I'd have to deselect that. I'm not feeling that right now. So my mistake, that was stupid. All right, uh, we'll see what we got. So edit, copy. I'm gonna show you the other way to do it then. All right, so before like, when we did it with the car, you know, we, we just went to our paintbrush and then we changed it to the clipboard thing. Actually, gonna change things up. So let's see what that truck looks like. That's a micro machine. Interesting. Um, we can go ahead and instead of just using the paintbrush, we'll do it here and edit, paste as new layer. Ah, there we go. Okay. Usually by default, it'll go in the upper left hand side. So let's move this down. Okay. Um, let's move this down using our move tool, which is just right here. Okay, so we're gonna move. And you can see here, 
that's a it's going to be an interesting situation with this uh, to try to get it right. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to see if we can flip it. Okay. If I want to change the size of it, I'd use my scale tool, which is right here. Whoops. Let's go down this folder. Uh, scale tool is right here. Okay. This should be above your paintbrush. And let's just change it. So if I want to make it real big, I would just do that. And then I'm actually going to scale that. Okay. And now I'm actually going to flip it. Okay. So I'm going to flip it from, like, sort of do a mirror image. So I'm going to click on this button. That's This is the flip tool that's next to our text tool, the A. There. So let's click on that. There we go. Now I'm going to move it. Doesn't look too bad. Blocks are other things. So let's add another truck then. Paste as, new layer. You can see there's our good friend, the truck. Good day. Big truck. Dear God. It's monstrous. Um, so there you go. So what you would do is you'd continue this process. I want a traffic jam. I want cars on top of cars on top of cars on top of cars. And bacon strips and bacon strips and bacon strips, okay? So go ahead, um, make a traffic jam. You can use the cars or trucks uh, from Google Image Search. You don't have to use the traffic pictures that I provided. Okay, so best of luck. Oh, finally, file, save as when you're done. Traffic, last name, hq.jpg. Okay, make sure you're saving it to your folder. Traffic, last name, hq.jpg. Okay, save that. Export. Set it to 100. File, save as. Set a hq, we put an lq. Save, and we set that to about 30%, okay? Make sure to post this in the form. Best of luck.